What is going on? I'm Zed Mott coming to you from the side of a ski hill um, on a bit of a vacation, a couple days off. So first of all, what we are going to do is pick up our chests. We're going to throw code Zed Mott into that boost. Only had one day left. I find anytime I think about it, I make sure I renew it. If you're not going to put Zedmod in your creator code, make sure you put something in in all your Supercell games. I'm going to show you two Trek tech trees, but first we're going to do something a little bit different. This is my view right here right now as the sun is setting. It's absolutely gorgeous. Figured I would mix it up a bit, show you guys that as my phone starts to fall. So if I'm a little bit distracted, that is why. Looking out the window as we do this. Now this is my offensive tech tree. This tech tree, there are all sorts of options. So option number one is just to max out these puppies right in here. Max out your mechs. Mechs will be slow, but they, they are not terribly, terribly slow. I'm kind of surprised at how quick they are. Option number one is going to be mechs. Option number two is going to be your defensive build. That is going to be going back and getting warriors. Now, I don't think warriors are going to last forever, but they are very, very quick right about now. Now, option number three, yes, there are three options, and this is the option that I chose. This is I had the exact number of tickets and tokens to get all the way along to here, up to here, in to the bombardiers. Now, I, for one, will not be going into Barrage. That's a lot of keys and a lot of tokens. I, as you see here, am going into into um, shocks and troop damage and then into that next engine room. So there's lots and lots and lots of options. This one right here is my offensive build. That's how we're already into that next engine room. If it's it's not necessarily the right choice, but with people using Warriors and Barrage, I figured I needed to get the heck out of there as soon as I possibly, possibly could. And now, I'm going to stick with this loadout. There, There's going to be quite a bit of time to get back to that back engine room, so I'm just going to stick with that for now. We will get this next chest, and then I'm going to switch to my other account, and I'll show you my defensive build. Now, just to show you my times, people are getting 329. I think I lost with like a 327 versus... Yeah, uh, Boomer actually commented in the YouTubes. I got 327, he got 330. So there are going to be some losses if you go the offensive route. So if you're going the offensive route, you need to get into that next engine room like I just did. Now, this season, I'm not sure that the naked base is the right choice. And this base isn't completely naked. Um, quick note, I noticed late last night, you might have seen on my Twitter, that Everspark was bugged. So they switched things around. So on this account, I had maxed my mechs. And then I ended up getting a bonus 1.3 million tokens when they swapped Everspark and the mechs. So I ended up not having mechs, but I ended up having maxed Everspark, which is not the worst thing. Now, I've been using um, Critter Swarm and basically nothing but Critter Swarm. This is my first attack on four engine rooms, so I'm probably almost completely guaranteed to screw things up, but I have, generally speaking, been doing Everspark on this right-hand side with five boats, and then somewhere in the neighborhood of three boats on that left-hand side, and so far, that's been working fairly well for me, because it gives us all sorts of critters on that right-hand side, and then all I've been doing is throwing some form of a shock, depending on where the heck our troops go. So, a bunch of our bombardiers went left, I'm going to throw those shocks, and now just need that shock on that right-hand side was way, way late. And as a result, all of our troops are going in directions that we don't want them to be going. So um, four engine rooms not going super duper cleanly at the moment. Going to get all of our critters. Though. Look at that. The fact that that critter swarm is going to get that uh, machine gun there. Then they're going to get rid of that rocket launcher. So even though I am completely and utterly screwing up this attack and not doing super well and guaranteed to lose. If I don't lose this, I am going to be absolutely, absolutely blown away. Like, I don't think there's any chance I have a win, even though the other person hasn't finished yet. So maybe, just maybe, that gap that I created on the... No, I, don't, I don't understand. There we go. Rich, yeah, yeah, retreat. The uh, fake retreat, the oldest trick in the Warships bo book... Um, should we do the fake retreat? Sure, we'll do the fake retreat too, just to be super duper. Oh, oh, didn't get it in. So 
fake retreat does nothing in like season one or season two you ended up saving a second or two in the retreat but my four engine room skills i am gonna go downwards thankfully i am right in the dead dead center of this tech so have a little bit of a leeway i don't recommend going to a new engine room if you're right on the cusp if you're winning stay in the same engine room you are go to that next engine room once you have a bit of a um, cusp or what's the word i'm looking for anyways brain i just spent i think we did 15 runs skiing today had a massive fall landed flying through the airs landing on my back ribs and back not super duper happy my, my, my neck actually feels better had a crick in my neck landing hard may have fixed it so um one of the bonuses of crashing maybe um dropping all of our dudes now i've went way 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 too many left on the left hand side but like ever spark I started this season out using mechs, and I thought I would have had to use mechs in front of Everspark and the Bombardiers and stuff like that. But it's crazy just how well Bombardiers do with nothing in front of them. Like, you don't need anything in front of them because Everspark's free critters are way, way, way more than enough. And now we're just going to be able to clear through all of these mines and don't really have to worry too, too much about it. So I'm going to go something like this and hoping that Everspark doesn't hit that boom mine, which of course she did. And then we're going to lose some more troops. I have level one flares. I don't recommend that anyone use level one flares. Level one flares are the one of the first things you want to get rid of. My flares absolutely ruining my attacks. But as you can see right here, we are already in the clear just need to get our troops a little bit farther north uh, north being up towards that engine room south being back towards that boom cannon and then my flares i'm throwing them super duper ridiculously early hoping that we ended up with the right number of bombs in the air and now our time still not good not entirely sure if our opponent started late or what but my four engine room skills definitely going to need some work um, i feel like warriors are going to be absolutely awesome also barrage also going to be somewhat helpful i don't feel like that universal remote's doing this person any favors but um, i don't even know where zookas are in this tech tree to be completely honest i want to quickly check in to see where the heck they got zookas from okay going down that road getting into zookas personally i don't think zookas are going to be any better than bombardiers but i'm guessing the fact that they're that much farther along they skipped bombardiers and just went this bottom road so there's another option for you skip bombardiers get into four engine rooms get that those zookas now this one is a pretty easy choice for me i can get I, it's not a very easy choice it's an easy choice to do nothing so we're going to wait on that one. I'm going to quickly pause here. We'll come back with my other account and hopefully have something a little bit more useful. And this is my other account. I have spent zero minutes building my base, but the tech tree is drastically, drastically different. And I got to give Shishka Bobber props because this tech tree, there are so many options. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to be later on, but mechs are doing a little bit better than expected, which is pretty nice. But you see, I've got my boom cannons at tick four, machine guns at tick four, shock launchers at tick four, sniper towers at tick four, cannons at tick four, mortars at tick four, basically everything at tick four. Now, you'll see I didn't go back and get warriors. I'm not super duper concerned about warriors at this point. This is going to be my defensive build, and warriors just don't meet with defense. So shock launchers and rocket launchers. Getting those rocket launchers to the next tick is on my list. Not entirely sure how high it is. Don't care about bullet, but um, not sure where we're going. Might go get that sky shield down there, perhaps. But um, this base, you see, comparing the times, you'll see like people getting 3 minutes 2, 3, 250, 3 minutes 2. Like The times are definitely, definitely slower. So barrage going to be a thing. And those times also would have drastically changed just now because before I had machine guns, people with warriors just walking through my base. So machine guns and mines, definitely, definitely something you want to invest in if you're seeing people come in with warriors or if you're expecting people with warriors to come in. So oh, lots and lots of things you need to worry about this season. Warriors, barrage, um, it's going to be a bit of a gong show for a little while and 
In seasons past, it would kind of settle in at the two-engine room level or the three-engine room level, and this season is going to be a little bit different simply because there's all of those dead-end paths that people can get to, and they are going to mean that just when you get comfortable in two or three engine rooms, there's going to be people that have reached the other dead ends, and it's going to get back to crazy sauce. So we are just dropping bombardiers and throwing those flares. I... Like I said, no point using mechs unless, of course, you don't have instant training. Then it makes all the sense in the world. So um, we managed to make this person wipe coal trickle. I love it when I go to show my defensive build and people wipe. Like that is an absolute perfect scenario. Oh, <sighs> okay. So same sort of layout. They've got the same sort of base. Now, what you need to do if you're going to use Everspark is make absolute darn sure that you click that critter button as soon as you possibly possibly can because a lot of those defenses are going to be right up close and personal on the shore and the worst case scenario if you're using Everspark is to have her get shot in the face because when Everspark gets shot in the face bad 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 things start to happen so this person only has one shock launcher, so we've got a little bit of an advantage on them, but we're still going to let... Oh, Everspark got shot in the face, just like we talked about. That's a little bit of uh, poetic justice, I believe they call that one. So at the same time, though, we've got medkits and medkits and medkits. So medkits doing fantastic things to keep our troops alive there. I believe I might also have troop health, not entirely certain. But um, medkits and medkits and medkits, hoping that we can get all of our bombardiers throwing those bombs in the air before all of our troops die. Need one more shock here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we going to wipe? Yes, 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 indeed. Now we just need to throw out, again, the often, often duplicated, but never replicated, I think. <laughs> I suppose it's often imitated, never duplicated or replicated. I always get replicated and duplicated mixed up. Um, we, you can tell which account I did in which order. This account has a little bit of time left on that chest timer. This account is up into 14 with the defenses. My other account down into 13. So um, we are just going to hang out here hoping that this attack lasts more than a minute 42 or so, which I that's hoping you're going to be slow. Okay, so this left-hand side ramp, way, way, way not the option for us right now. So I'm going to drop Everspark about here. We're going to tap that button, and then I'm going to bring all of my dudes over on that right-hand side, just hoping that we can get those critters up and avoid that rocket launcher. Now, I don't I'm kind of amazed at how well this is going in in general. I would have assumed there would have been way, way, way more wipes, but Everspark and her critters just making all the difference in the world. And the fact that I guess there's no defensive building damage quite yet, but I believe we've got troop damage and troop health. So Everspark about to get shot in the face right there, which is going to be a bit of a problem for us because that means that a whole bunch of critters are not going to be able to clear mines for us. So again, back to medkits. Now my medkits have not been upgraded, but I'm really, really quite tempted to start upgrading medkits simply because all of those mines are going to be a problem, all of those rocket launchers as well, and medkits have saved the day for me, even though they're only level one. Like, look at that. So, so many troops in the red and saved desperately by the medkits right there. So um, this account... Is not like I'm, I'm not super stoked on the offensive side of it, but my goodness, the fact that we're winning with slower times as that person brings their mech in, it just shows that there are many, 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 many ways to win this season. So, um, on the lesser good side, the fact that that Everspark bug popped up, I noticed it on my first attempted attack in the dev build. So, that tells me that no one at Supercell or Shish Kebab or OP Destroy for that matter, did any testing of actual attacks. I don't think it's possible. Maybe they did, but it's such a glaring, glaring issue that I feel like it couldn't have been any attacks done. And that just makes me sad that zero testing was done by the dev build, but by the dev team on the dev build. So um, 
I don't know how that happens or why that happens, but little bit sad for sure because they're they've got so many people that are more than willing to test, and I would love. The problem with um, the boom tubers testing it is there's no one to attack. Like every time you press attack on the dev build, it just sits there and spins and spins and spins. So, but if there was some form of a testing group or a, anyways, you get, hopefully you guys are picking up what I'm putting down because uh, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I posted about this before the season started, but of course it was too late by that point because the developers were sleeping. So, would have loved to notice this. And it's also on me. I could have noticed it days before as well when I did my sneak peek. So um, don't want to point fingers too, too much, but just feels like a missed opportunity for certain. Just like a missed opportunity to beat the t I believe I've played T-Wizzle before. Uh, it's kind of neat in Warships where you start to notice people's accounts that you um, have attacked in many, many seasons in the past. I'm going to try and get as many of my troops over on this left-hand side as possible, trying to send all of my troops up through there as Everspark is pooping out critters. Now, my other account where I ended up getting the basically free maxed version of Everspark, definitely getting more critters out and clearing more mines. I wish I would have had that on this account because... Against the more defensive builds, more critters would have been incredibly, incredibly useful. So at this point, we are just going to throw that flare, getting all of our troops, ignoring all of the defenses at this point, at, to our peril, because those mines just absolutely melted my face. So let me know which of the builds you're using, which of the metas you're using, if you're going to four engine rooms, warriors, barrage, right about now, the three engine room level is not designed for players like me who are trying to either bulk up or move forwards because both warriors and barrage. You know what? Let's show you how Scooby, let's pick the fastest attack. Scooby coming in three minutes, 16 seconds. Let's show you what they're doing. So all bombardiers and barrage. You see that? Just barrage, throwing barrage at that back engine room. Now I've got a bunch of buildings that are touching that back and it's to my detriment. So probably need to redesign my base a little bit to make players come a little bit spread out and maybe use this left-hand side dock or ramp a little bit. Anyways, that is me for Warships Season 31. Wanted to get this video out there. Um, it's definitely not quite as informed as I would like. Typically, like to give a little bit more details, but... Um, for once, for the first time in a long time, I'm away from work, I'm away from the house and chores and just relaxing with the family. So I am not going to be posting a heck of a lot until Thursday or so. So anyways, hopefully that helps you. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this season, how you're doing. I gotta say, I am very surprised. All mechs doing far, far better. And it's, they're decently quick. Grenadiers, kind of a waste, kind of useless, but mechs themselves, better than I would have expected. Anyways, that is all for me. As always, I am Zedmont. Thank you for coming in. Like, share, subscribe, click the bell, all that kind of stuff. Otherwise, leave me, hit me up in the comments. Let me know how's it going. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmont. Peace.